So in real estate, accountability is so important. So many times we go to these uh, real estate conferences, we'll go to all these, uh, agents go to all these great meetings and learn different ideas. Uh, but the one thing that uh, I asked my agents not too long ago, I said, guys, do you wanna learn more about stuff, stuff that you already know how to do, stuff that you wanna implement? Uh, or do you wanna actually take action and execute on these? And by setting up the peer group accountability meetings that we've had uh, just over the last six months has made a tremendous impact on all of our agents, uh, those that participate in them. And what we do is we actually meet in six week sprints where uh, for six weeks we really focus on what is it that that agent wants to get accomplished. Whether it be setting up a, a farm area, uh, whether it be setting up their listing presentation, their buyer presentation, uh, some of them want to do client events, but there's some specific uh, activity or goal that they want to accomplish in that six week period. So basically what we do is we break it up, we take a look at what it's going to take to get to that, and then every week we meet and go over what are the top two or three tactics that they're going to do for that week in order to get closer to that six week goal. Because usually what happens is that it's a great idea but you don't do it. Right. And then all of a sudden you have someone saying, hey did you get this done? And all of a sudden, yeah, I got to do it, right? And yeah. get it done. I think like uh, even kind of with Brenda, right? The one day you said, oh, I have a plan for the end of the day. Like sometimes when I plan going to the gym at the end of the day, I blow that off, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Like my bag's packed, I'm ready to go, but it's like 4.35 and I'm like, I just go home and you know spend some family time. Oh yeah, that sounds better, right? Family first, well, right? Work out at home. Right. Yeah, I do. I do that trick all the time. Like, oh, yeah. I'll work out at home. Well, you can do it in your chair. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, sometimes we'll have eight to twelve people in these meetings, and they all pick up different ideas and like, wow, that's a great idea. Let me write that down. Or they seek each other out for more uh, help and participation. And that's really the type of company that I wanted to put together was a company that was going to work together to grow. Because let's face it, at the end of the day, we're all in this business together and we want to make sure that we have friendly competition amongst ourselves, uh, but also grow and take our businesses to the next level. All right, so keeping the pace here, um, Debbie and Rachel. Debbie, you had three. We partner up and those partners talk to each other each and every day to make sure that they're staying on task. Because one of the things that we found is that you leave these meetings, uh, two, three weeks goes by and you come back, you're like, I didn't get anything done. But by actually having someone holding you accountable and having one of your peers hold you accountable uh, makes a big, big difference and has made a tremendous impact. Uh, back in 2012, I hired a, a coaching company here locally that worked with CEOs. And I wanted structure. I wanted structure in our accountability. I wanted structure in our team meetings. Uh, so I had a coach that I hired to actually come in every month and actually facilitate our accountability meetings so that I was more as a uh, participant and not the one actually facilitating it. And, and it made a world of difference. Our uh, business uh, each and every year grew uh, by at least 10 to 20 percent based on us being focused on the accountabilities, focused on the big rocks that we wanted to achieve for that year. And everyone had a key role uh, in achieving that. So uh, this past year, our accountability groups are working so great that I actually mastermind with agents all over the country. Uh, and as one of my uh, shares with them, I told them about what we were doing for accountability. So we actually put together an accountability meeting with our coaching members. We can't be live, but we can actually do it uh, via webinar. So we use GoToWebinar for this. So Bob, let me uh, let me skip to uh, where you what you had on here. You had a lot of things on here as well, but. I know the B2B community spotlight videos is one that you wanted. Uh, you had five agents a day for retention. And it's worked out very well. Uh, and they've also seen uh, tremendous growth by just doing, in, in the first six week uh, session that we did, uh, they were able to accomplish a lot of things that they usually don't. And again, going back to it, we meet three times a year as a mastermind group all over the country. And a lot of times we'll come back three, four months later to, those, to the next meeting and things weren't implemented because either they were forgotten about or they just didn't have the accountability behind it. Okay. All right, well, you know, again, got momentum going. And um, we've done, uh, we're on our third accountability group meeting with our with our uh, agents. And there's some agents that have been through it, you know, each time, there's some people that fell off. Uh, but the ones that have stuck with it over the last three times have had some really great gains. Uh, and it's just about building momentum, right? And, you know, what you do this six weeks and you want to do better the next six weeks and so forth. And uh, that's how you build the momentum for these accountability groups. So, um, well, great job, Bob. That's excellent you know stuff. Really great cool momentum. Yeah. What it what it does is um, it keeps your you know you feel like you're letting the group down, and it, it keeps your mind on you know, instead of just 
like it's the thing that you're supposed to do, but yeah, but that's okay. So in that respect, it's like it's gnawing at me, you know, and uh, I always say though, that being live and being in person always gives a, a different feel or a different type of energy. So my advice would be, no matter where you are in the country, pick a partner, pick an accountability partner. And this is why it works. I mean, think about, you know, everyone wants to have a great body and a six pack abs. So we hire a trainer, right? That's our accountability partner. Uh, but if you don't go to the gym, you don't meet with the trainer, uh, or the trainer gives you all the things that you need to do and then you leave there and you go have a, you know, a dessert and a cheeseburger and everything else, you're not going to see the results. Uh, so you have to do the push-ups. You can't pay someone to do the push-ups. So at the end of the day, I feel that uh, accountability no matter where you are, whether in a group like this, uh, you can also create your own groups uh, through a go-to-meeting. Uh, you can get an accountability partner in your own hometown that doesn't have to be in real estate. It could be in a totally different business. But at the end of the day, if you just meet on a weekly basis, you put down what you want to achieve. Uh, anyone can do this no matter where you're at. And if you're doing something different, I'd love to hear it. Just scroll down below, uh, leave a comment, uh, reach out to me anytime uh, or send me a messenger and uh, let's go get them this week.